Alright, Peter. I have a couple of bones to pick with society. Mostly the gay society, but it kind of relates to a lot of people. I don't understand what the deal is with everyone's ego lately. Like, literally, everyone is just... Their heads are huge, and I don't understand why. I can't even think anymore of one successful gay couple, like, in my life. Like, not celebrities, not, you know, those types of people, but, like, normal gay couples. I can't think of one. And I know a lot of people, but I can't think of one. And I, I don't know what's the problem. I don't know if everyone just keeps searching for someone that they think is going to be better for them, or if they just, they just have commitment issues. I don't understand it. And I don't also don't understand why people can't just speak their minds truthfully. Like, everyone just keeps playing each other and, and playing with their minds, and it's ridiculous. Just be truthful. Because it's just gonna, it's just gonna come back to you. Like, no matter what, if you fuck someone over, someone's gonna come back to you and, and do the same thing to you. So I, I don't understand why people just keep messing with people's minds. Like, be truthful. Like, if you don't, if you're not feeling someone, let them know. Don't lead them on. And most of the time you can tell when someone's not into you. Like, if you're texting them a lot and they're really not, they're giving you one word answers and they're not putting their own ideas back into their texts or conversations, most likely they're not into you. So, like, back off. Because then you're asserting yourself. But if you're, like, feeding into it and you're encouraging this behavior, even though you can feel nothing and you're leading this person on, it's going to hurt them so much more than being honest about it. I don't understand why everyone's scared to hurt people's feelings with honesty anymore. Like... Yeah, the truth hurts, but finding out that what you've been told is a lie hurts so much more in the end, and it leads so much more damaging effects. If you just still feeling, ooh, like, get over it. I, just be blunt about it. People respect that so much more from you instead of just lying about it and, and coming up with these ridiculous reasons of why you're doing your actions when they don't even make sense. And then... Like, everyone's just searching for... They're, they're Prince Charming that we've all been grown up and embedded in our minds from Disney that we have to be waiting for, like, these perfect people. But no one's perfect. No one is perfect. We are all messed up in our minds. We're all crazy. There's not one sane person. If they're normal, they're not normal. They're doing something creepy in their bedrooms alone. Let's be real. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, stop. And just appreciate what you have in front of you because it's... It, you're most likely not going to get better. Like, it's a slim chance to do that. And then as you're leading this person on, you're really damaging them, and they don't understand what's going on. And and then you need to let people talk, too. This is the biggest issue. People start talking about their feelings, and you don't want to hear it, and then and that's just that. You need to listen to these people. Like, if you're going to be that type of person to lead them on and such, like, let them speak. Don't shut them up. And don't say, oh, I can't handle this, blah, blah, blah. Just sit there and listen to them. It, it's your own fault for even trying to, like, get them into whatever relationship you are. So, and everyone's waiting. Everyone thinks that this is the time to be playing around and playing the single field and blah, blah, Which is true. It's good to have fun. But, like, also, you have to pay attention that, like, our youthful, beautiful years aren't going to be around forever. Like, uh, my biggest fear in life is to be... 40 and a creepy gay guy like I don't want to be that I want to be happy with a family and I feel like no one wants that these days and everyone just thinks that that they need to live the single life and go partying crazy and hook up with a bunch of people and it's stupid like that's ridiculous who are you do you have no morals like you can you not feel deeper emotions for another human being because I'm sorry I played the single role I played the relationship role I've had fun but honestly, the feelings that you feel more in a relationship kill the feelings that you feel having fun being single. If it's a happy, loving relationship, there's nothing better like that. There's nothing like feeling those emotions for another individual. And if you have that and you're giving it up for just something less substantial, I think that's the biggest mistake of your life. And those are my thoughts. Sorry to brag. Uh, not brag. Rant. I miss up my words. But I, I just feel that there's been a complete like, change in the way people think about relationships and, and their egos, and they need to stop pretending like they're the best things in the world, because you're not. We're all equal. Like, uh, there's no one better. We're just all our own personalities. It's everyone's cup of tea. 
And if you don't like it, you don't have to drink it. Someone else will. Just saying. Alright. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.